this is the admin junior and in this tutorial I'm going to be doing a bit of image manipulation through compositing with Blender 2.5 Alpha 2. We're going to be turning our other bright and happy image to something a lot more dark and sinister. Right, now to start off with, make sure you get yourself all set up. See my first video if you want to know how to do that. And to begin with, add the image. This is just one of the sample images that comes with Windows 7. Make it nice and big so we can see it. And because we're just going to decompose on the image, you can just get rid of render layers. This will have to be a bit hurried. Don't have that much time. Right. So, first of all, to start off with, we want to get rid of all of these really bright colors. So I'm going to use a hue correct. Which is down here. And what we want to do is get rid of the orange, which is on the rocks. I need to change the image size a little bit. There. We want to get rid of the orange, which is on the rocks, and the blues of the sky. So, we want to. This is more towards a red sort of orange part. So, we want to turn down that. And as you can see, already we've gotten rid of most of the orange. Nice little picture there. Next, we want to get rid of the blues. Very simply, tune down the blue. So we want to get rid of that as well. A little bit of our fats up here. So. There, that's much better. So we've kept our colours intact. Well, the colour we want intact. Next, we want to we want to make it a little darker. So I'm going to use a colour balance for that. Basically, we want to change the gain. That's the one thing, just to make it a bit darker. That goes down, that goes down. Right, we do have a bit of an issue with some of these colours, namely the trees. The trees are a bit bright, and you can see there's greenery all over the place. So, how, how do I get rid of that? The answer is to enhance the dark colours, make them darker, basically, while keeping the lighter colours light because we will do deal with those later. <clears throat> so I want to split this image into multiple um, channels. I'm going to use HSV. If you don't know what HSV is, you can pretty much guess what H and S stand for, Q and Saturation. V and A are value and alpha. This is an image straight off Wikipedia. I don't own it. Uh, and you can see the color model here of hue, saturation, value. This is, again, from Wikipedia, a normal image. And that's its value channel. This is the channel that we're going to up the contrast on so that we get more vibrant blacks and darker colors while making sure that the whites or the lighter colours stay the same. Let's basically get rid of those trees, then they're a bit darker. So first of all I separate it, and then I do a simple brightness contrast. Straight on the value channel. Contrast, um, so one, maybe, start off with. 
No, 1.5. Sounds better. I also want to increase the brightness a little bit. Let's keep these together. Finally, put them straight back together again. saturation and alpha. That's going to come up with an image. <coughs> now, let's have a look at where we are right now. We have an issue. You can just about see the green. Maybe I need to do a bit more lessening of the colors fiddling around here. a bit better. We do have an issue in the sky. The sky is way too light for this scene. So what I'm going to do with this is get rid of it basically. <clears throat> and for that I'm going to use a channel key instead of a color key because or a chroma key because they're just they're, they're, they're too specific. So I'm doing matte, yes. And this time I'm going to use YUV. And I'm going to take out the Y. I'll play around with the highs and lows at some point. And what I'm going to do with that is use an alpha over. There is. But this time, I'm actually just going to add straight black to it. And I also want to take this alpha and make it a bit stronger as well. It's not enough on the sky. Uh, I'm going to tweak that. I'll, I'll leave the low as it is. And that's our final render for now. A bit of tweaking. And we can see if we can get something more realistic difficulties in keeping those trees there so we have a green stretch of the sky perfect got oh, nice greens of the trees a little bit of the green full, a little bit of the green grass and moss coming through. Still a bit of a streak in the sky though, but tinkering will get rid of them. Really. I will produce another video, <clears throat> this time a lot more detailed on the, each of the steps, but this is basically how to put it together. And there, just for comparison are the two images before and after there yeah. great a lot more bleak of a day nice sunset really rather gloomy afternoon <clears throat> Thank you for watching.